egg rolling tomorrow she's four years old um, and we thought it would be a nice idea if we made her some eggs um, unfortunately she unfortunately she couldn't make it today because she's got chicken pox ironically um, but we decided we just make her some eggs anyway because hopefully it'll make her happy um, so this is our egg box has we got here you got it mm -hmm. um, we can you can buy really cool ones like this one I think these are like the originals. You can buy really cool ones, and they do all the work for you. No mess. You just put it together and it's done. Um, you don't necessarily have to use eggs. You can use light bulbs, um, tennis balls, Christmas ball balls. Um, you can even use golf balls, and many more. So I thought, well, um. Why buy an egg when and miss out on all the fun of actually building one yourself? So the components, which are the yellow and red bits, I got this in here as well. I got 3D printed and I found the component um, design on this website called Thingiverse. We have some trouble. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Oops, hurry. I it last time. Yeah. Ugh. The internet is very bad. Here we go. This is the similar similar design to what I've used, and I'm gonna do my own design. But it would have taken ages um, for me to design one of these, and it probably would have gone terribly wrong. So, you know, it saved me lots of time. But I will make a few changes. One of the changes is a sticky out thing. You need to support because. And that costs extra because you can't just 3D print in midair. And that costs extra. So I think this Spherobot is what I'm talking about. To have a built-in support. Which I've got here. A built-in support there. Um, obviously, when I finished my design, there are a few changes. But when I do it myself, it will deliver. And I'll be like, oh, there's loads I can change about this. So I'll have to be, I'll be changing it constantly. Because I can never get something perfect. Um... This is my stepper motor, and there's another stepper motor here, uh, my Arduino, uh, servo, which is this blue thing here, and my egg, obviously, some suckers, nails to um, keep things together, bearings, pole, and some other things here, uh, which I brought. Um, the stepper motors. Uh, really cool things they're like they work they're like really clever you don't have to learn about them to use them but I just learned about it for fun it was really interesting uh, whoever came up with the idea was like, really clever so this stepper motor controls the rotation of the egg this stepper motor controls the pen holder the rotation of the pen holder um, yeah. um Okay, right, so I've got this really cool thing called Inkscape, which is free, and I've downloaded it here. Um, you can draw pictures and patterns with it, and I've done my Hello Kitties, I drew them, and Happy Egg Day, you know? yeah, there we go, um, but you, which you'll see printed on the egg later. Um, I've also done my design on it, like I've just showed you. Um, yes, it's really cool. Um, you also have to download Inkscape Eggbot plugin, which I got here, and it's on this website called evilmadscientist.com wiki. There's a logo. There we go. Evilmadscientist wiki. 
Um, and this shows you how to do it on Mac, Windows and Linux. It's really good. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to do a, you're going to have to come back again. I'm just going to do an egg, uh, a pen swap over. Yes. Let me just undo it. I'm sure I can just do it with my fingers. It's going to be easier. No, actually it's not. It's... Oh, there we go. Take it out. And put the lid back on. Um, let's try this one. Um, where's that piece of paper? There we go. Could you hold this under so it doesn't dry? I just test it. There we go. There we go. Perfect. It's, we need to be very careful not to move it at all. I think that looks about straight to me. Go. Just oh, do it and just. Camera. Do you know, move out the way? Thank you. It's perfect. There we go. No, it looks watch. about. Does it look about straight? There we go. Because you've got to be make it straight. Because I'll, as I'll show you in the end, what happens if you don't have the pen straight? Now let me just change the layer to layer two. This is going to be the writing. And apply. Um. So you might be thinking, well. What, how does how does it work? Does someone just um, come up with a magic wand and say abracadabra, make this egg bot draw like it's doing now? But that doesn't exactly happen. But oh, it's really cool. I love it. Um, but we did we did actually borrow some. Co you actually do use code. Now I can probably make the servo work and maybe like a few leds but i'm not advanced as advanced to make a uh, egg, egg bot work so this is the program i used it's on github and it's egg called Arduino, and this operates the egg bot so one of the things one of the changes i had to make was to this program like i think it's written in c um is it was coming the servo was bringing my pens down too hard and spitting again so this is an example you can't really probably can't see it but it is ruined forever um yeah um and there's let me just get my what's it called um i've forgotten what it's called what let me just do it again I don't think that's the terminal oh, never mind never mind oh it's normally black there we go um can you see yeah can you... yeah hurry up yes. there we go it's normally arrows but you know um Here we go. So this is the code. It's written in Python, and, and as well as this program I've just showed you, I used this because it would have taken me like probably about a year to write this program, and it's quite. Um. So one of the problems we had was the was. Um, it, the my uh, what's it called? Inkscape was looking for this thing called EI Bot Board, and I turns out that it was expecting something like a bot egg bot. I think so. I just type in Arduino, which I've got here, which is controlling my egg bot. You can come back now. Woo! Now you get to see my view of the office. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, so what this code does is it takes my picture, it turns um, it into Bezier's, and then it turns the Bezier's into tiny little lines, and they're so small that they look straight. 
so yeah that's quite cool and then it sends it down this usb cable it's this blue one Whoop, all the way up into my arduino well our arduino um sorry and then it sends it into my egg the arduino sends it into my egg box and it prints it onto my egg which is really cool we're, um, we're finishing off a video. Sorry, that was just my mum. <laughs> and yeah. So. Yes, yeah, so. Here are some of the eggs we, de we did earlier. Oh, by the way, I've promised to show you what happens if you do it. If you don't. Put a pen in right. Yeah, <laughs> that's what happens. <laughs> um. This is some of them. So, quickly show them. Yeah. Need to go. <laughs> yeah. So, this is the Hello Kitty, and it's got some flowers. And this is a thick Sharpie. So, we turns out the, thick sharp, the thin Sharpies are better than thi thick Sharpies. Thick Sharpies are good but for colouring things in by hand. So, I'll show you the ruined Sharpie. The, this is the ruined one. So, you can see the... That's the thick, this is the thick one, and this is the thin one. And let me just take the lids off to show you. You see thick, the difference. Thin. Thick, thin. Let me pop the lids back on. And my hands are okay. <laughs> um, oh, this nice. is the very first one we ever did. It's got a few scribbles because that was some tests. And it turns out that, you can see this yellow bit up here. That was loose, so we had to put some paper in to make it tight. Um, and then it started drawing skulls, which is really satisfying to watch. Here are some crosses. It's really cool. Um, some more Hello Kitties, because I absolutely love Hello Kitty. Um, they went a bit wrong, because the design was went a bit wrong. But, yeah. Um, oh, there's some more Hello Kitties here. Oh, I've already showed you that one, haven't I? Here we go, that's some fancy writing. And, um, oh, yeah, this is the one from my mum. It's got some skulls on and it's got some writing there. And this one really shows how accurate it can really be. Because look. It's like, it's just so, so accurate. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, my sister wasn't here to model the hat. So I think I'll model it myself. How do I look? Good. The dogs ate... Um, the butterflies, because there were butterflies there, so we'll probably have to get some more. But she's not doing the Easter Bonnet Parade, because she's got chicken pox. She would have loved to be here. Um, yeah, so let's have to show you the egg. Hope it's dry. It's a really nice egg. Um, right the, in. It's the Hello Kitty. The camera and it says, Happy Egg Day. The camera knocked one of the foots. <laughs> so it didn't finish off. Doesn't matter. So, let's pop that egg there. Um, don't smash. This is my cameraman, my brother, here. Hey there. <laughs> um, this is me. Um, the, my sister would have loved to be here. Um, thank you so much for watching our video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, bye bye. Yeah.